Oh, We're also okay. just like coming up with more theories in our head of like what we actually do believe with the paranormal. Like, for example, right now we we a hundred percent believe in energies and stuff like that. And there's no question that you can walk into some places and it's like just a different vibe. Yeah, like it feels heavier. Yeah. Um, but do we believe in like the Casper the ghost sort of like figure ghosts? Like, not really. Maybe. We've seen, like, shadow figures before, but have I ever levitated? No. Have I ever seen something, like, straight in front of my face where I, like, undeniable proof that that's a ghost in front of me? No. It's, like, been, like, just out of the corner of the eyes and stuff like that. You know, there's some scientists that believe that things carry memory. There's a guy named Rupert Sheldrake, and he has this uh, theory of morphic resonance, and part of his theory is that he thinks objects themselves contain some sort of memory, whether or not you can access that memory, mm. but that objects contain memory. And uh, he, he cites that as one of the reasons why people can feel things. Like if you were going to a house where someone's been murdered in the house, mm -hmm. like there's oh. a reason why they have to tell you. Yeah. Like they can't right. just sell you the house. If so, well, by the way, <laughs> you know, like if someone gets murdered in the house, I think I don't know, like for how long after the uh, the fa and it's probably varies by state to state. Mm -hmm. But I remember in California, like you would have to tell people if someone got murdered in the house oh, for sure. Like to this day, they can't sell that fucking John Bonet house, John Bonet Ramsey. Mm -hmm. There was I don't a even house know what that. That is. She got murdered in Boulder, Colorado. She was a beauty pageant queen who was a tiny little girl. It was really creepy. Hmm. You ever do those child beauty pageants? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, she was murdered when she was very young. I, I don't know sure. how old she was, like eight, nine, something like that. It's and horrible. it was a national scandal because they couldn't figure out who murdered her or what happened. And some people thought that it was the parents and the Boulder Police Department botched the investigation because they weren't really, Boulder's a pretty peaceful place. They're not used mm -hmm. to murders, especially not murders of children. And also like, there's, it exposed people to how weird these child beauty pageants are where you're taking a little girl and you're putting you know, high heeled shoes on her and short skirts and sexy makeup. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> right. And so it, it became this thing. So we lived in Boulder for a while and we were looking at real estate in Boulder. And there was this one house like this is a pretty nice house. Like what? You know, why is this house so cheap? It was, it was weird. It's like it seemed like it should be been more deal. expensive. And then I Googled it. Uh oh. And I found out that oh, that's the house where John Bonet Ramsey had been killed. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know if it ever sold. But like the the entire time we were there, uh, it was for sale. It was for sale before then for for years. I, I think they might have even changed the name of the street hmm. to try to sell the house. Some weird shit. I've like definitely that. heard of that happening before. Like they're like, oh, no one's sell no one's buying yeah. this because of that. Well, it's a thing. Like people, no one wants to buy a house where a little girl was murdered. Oh, for yeah. sure. And might have been murdered by her parents. Like that was yeah. the 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 real oh, really? the scary part about it was that was the accusations that the mother did it. They brought in these handwriting experts, and the handwriting experts compared the ransom note with the mother's handwriting and they were trying to say that the mother wrote the ransom note and like who fucking knows but it's <laughs> gross enough that no one wanted to have anything to do with right. the 